things that maybe aren't considered along like the guidelines of being a good feminist. Yeah, and I think it's also too so strange where it's like, okay, I want to have the right to say what happens to my body, but that doesn't mean <laughs> like I have to give up the fact that I like to shave my legs or you know yeah. like that I like to wear dresses and all these yeah. things are like a hundred percent. Yeah, and that, like, the crazy idea that maybe we do it for us and not for men, you know? It's like, maybe I shave my legs for me, and I'm wearing this dress for me. Um, and sometimes it's like, well, that's not possible, so you must not be a feminist, because you must be doing all of this to, like, please men. And so I think that's, like, finding that balance that I didn't really know existed for a long time. Exactly. And I feel like also, too, like, sometimes people think with, like, feminism, it's like, oh, okay, like, you're wanting to take away from men and it's like oh like you know like you have like the freedom to do like whatever it's just like i want the choice to you know like do whatever i want to do 100 percent, yeah and it's not it's not this sort of like overcompensation it's just like equality and that's what feminism at its core really means so i think it's like important to remember that and i think roxanne really understands that concept oh yeah yeah um, I was gonna ask you what was your favorite essay I was gonna ask you that too <laughs> um honestly like so many I loved so many of them I think like when she talks about trigger warnings I that really resonated with me because she's basically like when they're using excess it kind of feels like they're limiting what they think you can handle or what you can take and it starts to feel like censorship especially for women and um so I really liked the essay where she was talking about trigger warnings and how she feels almost a bit like